is that a gutter? No, it's just groovy trash bag. <laughs> Today we are officially back with the rock star next door by the amazing author Regina. If you have not caught up on this series, go catch up on it. So in the last chapter, we finally gave Jordan and Heather a taste of their own medicine. We took them down after they have been trying to ruin our relationship with Tyler. And finally, things are looking up. We have a little bump in the road because Crystal was too good of an actor, but we canceled Jordan. Heather is crying and her hair extensions are ruined, thank goodness. And now things are looking up for us and our little rock star so we're gonna see what heats up in this chapter but i hope you guys are excited be sure to go follow the amazing author regina her instagram is linked in my description box down below hit the like button if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already and let's start the drama okay so the next morning they had some fun and it was amazing just like every night that has been spent in this room with tyler i could almost cry thinking about how fast this trip had ended we would be on the plane this friday going back to chicago okay so the miami trip was over it ended up being a success we thought it was gonna be tragic after so many bad things were happening but it all the pieces all fell in place and things are good and we're not official with him yet but we're gonna make it official hey I was looking for you. I just needed to get some air. You were sleeping, so I didn't wake you up. That's all right. I had to meet Bree at breakfast, but ended up sleeping way more than I was supposed to. Me. <laughs> He's like, mm, yeah, I know. What happened? Still thinking about last night. What? No, not at all. Thank God. I thought you were still mad about our prank on Harris. Nope, I'm proud of the two of you for that. So satisfying, knowing he got what he deserved. I was just thinking how different Miami was two years ago. Time changes everything, but some people don't ever change. <clears throat> Heather and Jordan. People as in Heather Davis. You know what, Crystal? This trip is almost over. When it ends, I want to leave everything behind. So a few days ago, I said I didn't want to talk about what exactly went down with Heather. I have changed my mind. Ask me anything you want to know. Okay, so this is a I wasn't sure if I wanted to know. Heather and Tyler had a serious relationship, but that's all the news had shown us. And I'm sure that wasn't everything. So we'll take this chance. Well, there must be a reason why you started dating her, right? There was. I wasn't always this Tyler that you see right now, Crystal. Around that time of my life, I was really lonely. And like I told you before, being invisible was draining. Heather, she noticed me. She always knew what to say to make me feel special, wanted, and cared for. This is good. We're learning a bit of the backstory about Heather because how we see her now, she's so mean, so vile. So what was she like back then? It was so long since I felt this way I latched on to it. Before I knew it, Heather was my world. I was in love with the idea of being loved and I was blinded by it. It's so unfortunate. A lot of people fall into that trap. I was blinded by the only time she wanted to be with me was when I was with the band at first. Going to our gigs, partying in VIPs, then after I left the band only wanting to be there when I was on my U Music channel, talking about her, having her in my videos. But I thought I loved her and I wanted her to stay so I did everything she wanted, anything to make her happy, slowly losing myself and my happiness in the process. When we moved to Chicago after reconnecting with Grayson, and when my You Music channel was at its peak of success, Heather was acting distant. I didn't understand why she had gotten so much time on my channel and the news was always talking about our relationship. What I didn't realize was they were only talking about her because of me and she didn't like that. She still didn't get cast in any leading roles as an actress and was only getting callbacks to be an extra. And that too was only because of me. Then one day she said that she was going home to visit her parents. I should have known better. She never talked to her parents because they didn't support her dream to be an actress. Two days later was when my world came crashing down around me. I came home early from the studio because I was just tired and needed a break. What I wasn't expecting to break was my heart and soul. I walked into our apartment to find apartment apartment to find Heather with Jordan. Heather was giving Jordan my new songbook, the book I wrote all my new music in. Can you believe that? Terrible people. The fact they were going, he gave her the world and she threw it back in his face. And Jordan, who was supposed to be his like bro or whatnot, garbage. Heather went home to get Jordan. Apparently they made a deal. 
Heather gave Jordan my songs for his new album and Jordan will give Heather the roles in his music videos. And Jordan promised her a leading role in a movie. His friend was directing in Miami later that year. Oh, what friends? When I caught them, they just laughed about how stupid I was, how no one wanted me around. I was just a means to end and look where they are now. He has had so much solo success. Now he just launched a new band to success and they are flops. Floppy, floppy, flops. I was so stupid I felt pathetic for not realizing that Heather was the one who gave my song to Jordan in the first place in Miami. The song that shot him to fame. Mm. Luckily Grayson came over to check on me because he stopped them from taking my book. I had no fight left in me. Honestly, I didn't care about anything anymore. Then later that night, the world got a chance to laugh at me as well on the Holly show where Heather humiliated me for her own personal gain, hoping to be trending. If it wasn't for Grayson, I don't know what would have happened to me. He was there for me. He helped me pick myself up when I hit rock bottom. And that's when I made myself a promise to get our band signed for Grayson. Use my name for good. Get my talented friends out there for the world to see. That's so sweet that it's so sad hearing what happened to him, of course, but he has such a good heart. He's been through so much. And the fact he's trying to give back to Grayson and everyone for what they did, that's so sweet. And I promised myself to never let a woman into my life. <laughs> Crystal went from like, oh, to uh, real quick. There were snakes, selfish creatures who only cared about themselves. That was until I met you. Okay. You were selfless, kind, compassionate, beautiful. Damn, the list could go on and on. Keep going. It's fine. But seriously, you opened my eyes again. Showed me everyone is not the same. Not everyone is evil. That's why I always say you are one of a kind. Okay, he's being so sweet. You're making me blush. Oh, are they going to do a little? You love it when I make you blush. <laughs> Just like you did last night. Oh my goodness, this is taking a different turn. Tyler, there are people around here. So what? Who cares about them? There are my bitches. Uh, <laughs> okay. I didn't read the name at first and I was very confused. I was like, what, Tyler? I was like, but it's Sam. I've been looking everywhere for you. Your timing is just great. I know, right? Come on, get our asses back to your room. Well, on the bright side, with pleasure. Wait, what? I meant get to your room and get ready in 20. We're crashing a wedding. What? Why are we crashing a wedding? Now go, I'll explain everything later. Whose wedding are we crashing? He's crazy. Hopefully, it's a good wedding. I hate getting ready under pressure. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's look at our outfits. Okay, we look really pretty in the white one, option two. We have here, oh, okay, oh, this one's pretty. I like this one. Unless the third one wows me, I might go the second one. Ooh, this one's, I kind of like outfit two though. It's something a little different. It's something different than what we've had before. Let's go with this one, wear this outfit. This is perfect. Okay, she looks amazing. She really looks like a model. There is like nothing to change about her. I cannot believe you, Sam. I'm not doing this. Yes, you are. It's our last few days here. We gotta make them memorable. And a yacht wedding sounds just ideal, a yacht wedding. What? She has invited me as her date. How can I explain plus six with me? You're smart enough to figure that out yourself, Chrissy. <laughs> figure it out, Chris. It's fine. Oh, look, the rest of our catfishes. Okay, so we're looking good, everyone. Sadly, we can't leave right now. Gotta wait for Chris's friend to get here. Whose wedding is it? No idea. You're crazy, Sam. Do we get free drinks? Is it open bar? Open food? I'm ready. Oh, it's a little stormy out. Do we want to be out here on this yacht? This was such a good idea, Chris. I'm sure they'd love to have such popular guests. Thanks for being understanding about it. My friend insisted on it and I couldn't say no. It's all good, trust me. I hope, I hope they get together. Chris deserves someone and she seems like a sweet girl. I'm calling it. She totally has a crush on him. Who, Chris? Yes, Chris. You do take him for granted, but he has got charm too. Thing is, if there was no Tyler, I'd be all about Chris. And pre, I told you we were attending a wedding at a court hearing. Excuse you? I wanted to look presentable. Oh, you totally do look presentable. Sorry, guys. I'll step out and take this call. This call, it's Kwanzaa. 
be right back, babe. We can call babe. Okay. Did I just say the word babe? We're all thinking it. We are all thinking it right now. So apparently there's more than just stuff going on between the two of you. Oh, geez. Calm your horses, Sam. What is... What? Are you serious? Oh, he's smiling. Oh my god, Kwanzaa. That's such news. Yell and inform everyone. See you in four days. Good news. I thought number one across the charts. They can hit platinum. Damn, we did good. I am so proud of them. Oh, hey. What's up, man? You look worked up. I am. I'm getting married today. I just realized I messed up. Why? I forgot to buy a gift for my wife. She'll kill me. She's definitely expecting something huge. Uh-oh. Sounds rough. It is. Wait, I've seen you somewhere. I can't recall. Uh, oh my god, you're that guy. The one who sings on you now. It's me. Oh my gosh. God wanted to help me out. That's why I met you here. Can you come and perform at our wedding? What? I'm here with friends. Ask them to join in too, please. Well, where were you? Was gonna get your gift, babe. What? Look behind you. <laughs> she shook. Tyler Gray. <laughs> Congratulations on the wedding. Oh my god, this is the best gift I could have ever received. It's about to get better. Tyler's gonna sing his new song for you. She is ready whenever. Okay, so... Never let go or I'll be left alone. We've held back for a long time, forever and always be my sunshine. Everyone's going along. Oh, she is like, this is the best day of her life. That was so sweet of Tyler to help out. Will you dance with me? Of course. Carol, I'm the groom. What about me? <laughs> Poor guy. He's relegated. Will you dance with me, beautiful lady? Okay, so they're having a little dance, being real cute. The happy couple got married. We really saved that situation for him. Oh, he's... Why are you crying? Do you ever feel proud of yourself? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Look at their happiness. I'm so glad I dragged y'all to this wedding. Okay, so that was real cute. Starry, staring is considered to be rude, dollface. I can't help it. I fail to understand how you happen to be so amazing. I try. Also, thank you for trusting me with the whole Heather thing. Thank you for listening to it. That's just the hardest part of my life to talk about for me. No matter what, every time I revisit it, I end up feeling stupid all over again. Yeah, that's why today was the last time you'll ever revisit it. It's time. Time to let it go. Put it behind you. I guess it is. I'm glad we decided to come here. Me too. It's our first group activity that wasn't interrupted by Karen. Please don't jinx it. I don't want to see her running in. True. By the way, what happened with her after I left? I didn't see her anywhere in the party. She got kicked out. What? You won't believe what happened. That's why I have it on my phone to show you. Oh, show us. Show us the tea. We're ready to see what happened with crazy Karen. Oh... Oh, we did see this. Oh, is that a gutter? No, it's just groovy trash back. <laughs> Never get so let go of me. Do you not know who I am? I am Tyler's fiance. In your dreams. Oh my god, she has reached a new low this time. She, Priyanka. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? What happened? Pop the question. Priyanka, you completely changed my life since the day you walked in. I don't know if there will be a better moment than this, so will you be my girlfriends? Finally. It's kind of shocking that they, what? Oh my goodness. I thought you never asked. Of course, yes, I will be your girlfriends. I'm actually shook that they weren't official already, because I've been thinking they've been official this whole time. Today keeps getting better and better. Is Tyler going to ask the question too? I think it's time. I think it is. And finally, this epic trip had come to an end. I came to Miami with no expectations at all and just as an excuse for not having to spend Christmas alone. But this trip gave me much more than that. It was really the most memorable trip of my life. It really ended up so good. Why is she shocked? What the? You think you can trust what he said? 
but it's only to get in your head. He will betray you soon, leaving your life in Zoom. Oh my gosh, the rhyming. This guy is so corny. Please. Crystal, don't believe it. You know better than this. Y'all think I will leave you on a cliffhanger? Not today. Dollface, are you all right? No, we got the corniest text ever. What happened? Look at this. But the really creepy part, what the hell? This is creepy. Someone just pranking us. First it was me and now they've also got your number. Don't worry, it's nothing. What I want to know is how do they know what he said? Ugh, that's, ugh, it's not nothing, Tyler. All this can't just be a prank or a coincidence. Remember the, on Halloween night, the stone from the window? It had a similar rhyming message on it. Oh yeah, they went through the Halloween drama. Oh, and that's when Groupie Trash Bag went through it. What do you think? I think Crystal's right. Someone is watching us. These texts are coming back to back. It's obvious to tell they're all written by the same person. What? You mean we have a crazy stalker? I am not good with those. I am scared. Relax then. We don't need more people freaking out over a prank. It's a prank, Grayson. Why would someone be watching us? Well... What if there's someone watching us and he decides to kidnap me? Oh, he already did to Karen. You don't understand. A stalker always kidnaps the hottest person from a group. So I'm not safe. They'll come for me. This is serious. In that case, you have to come save me, Ty Ty. It's not my fault. I'm so hot and now I'm in danger. <laughs> Can we take this discussion to the airport? We have a flight to catch. She's right. Let's forget about this, Crystal. No stalker can harm me while I'm here. Well... I mean, that's sweet, but where's security detail, please? We just, just in case. Okay, so it's kind of sad we're going back from Miami. It was such a good time. I mean, we had the bumps in the road, but it was positive in general. Now we just need Tyler to ask our girl the question. Crystal, don't worry, that text meant nothing. You really think I'd ever lie to you? Oh, it's not you. No, that's not what I think. Then why can't you stop thinking about it? You're right, it's nothing. I can't let this trip end on a bitter note just because of a text. There's my doll face. Thank you for coming along, Crystal. This trip wouldn't be the same without you. Ooh, I should be the one thanking you. You made my birthday memorable with this trip. Oh, very memorable. I'm sure it's ingrained in her memory. I'll make sure all your birthdays are even more memorable from now on. Oh, why is she here? Why do we have to see her on our screen? I've never been treated like this before. He sent me the tickets and when I flew there, he treated me like a trash bag. I am done. Ah, the roommate comes in. She's stunting. She's like, oh, you're back. Ew, what's with the long face? Doesn't suit you. Anyways, you didn't tell me you were going to be so famous. Twicker is flooding with your mentions and so is the entertainment news. And Gina was talking about you. She's my favorite reporter. Oh, I'll read you my favorite tweet. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Tyler Snow girlfriend looks like a <laughs> looks like a character from the Looney Tune. <laughs> funny though. I always thought you looked like Witch Hazel. This is not funny. Foxy will pay for everything you've done to me. I'll make sure of it. Everything we've done to you, girl. You've done it to yourself. It's so good to be back, dude. Why didn't the holidays treat you right? Oh, to be honest, I forgot about him. Of course, but I'm excited for the new drama competitions. Sure, see you tomorrow. I truly forgot about Jaden. It has been chapters since we've last seen him. And we're back on campus. Oh, JJ, Catherine. So looks like you had a great Christmas. And why do you say that? You're clearly not been keeping up with the news. Haven't you seen what your favorite girl's been up to? She's been hoeing around with Tyler Gray. Take it from the eyewitness. What? Why are you telling me? She's free to do anything she wants. Oh wow, JJ, I wish she had a heart as big as yours. I totally hate to see someone I like getting into someone else's bed. Okay, but like... Girl, it's, they ain't together and you can't control someone. Finally, home sweet home. In time to lose my sleep to your loud music. But that won't be the only reason to lose your sleep. Oh. 
This shirt looks so much better on you than it does on me. The elevator ride is 20 seconds long. Can you guys keep it in your pants? Jeez. So we're back home. Oh, there's flowers. Why am I nervous? What is this? For her majesty. What? Uh, who the F is her majesty? And that's a huge ass bouquet. Tyler's like, uh-huh. Oh, they're here. OMG, she's back. We've missed you so much, your majesty. Welcome home, we miss seeing your beautiful face. <laughs> Ty Ty, are you sure you were the superstar and not your doll face? She's got fanboys. Tyler's not having any of this. Oh, he's stomping. He's marching. Oh, dear. Here it goes. What is, as nice as all this is, I'm seeing someone now and he means the world to me. But thanks for the welcome back. Their hearts are breaking. They're like, no. She really is perfect for Tyler. I agree. Oh, he's mad. Why is he stomping in here angry? It's fine. What the F is wrong with you? What is going on here? We're talking to you, Ty. We aren't even back for 10 minutes and all the guys are flirting with her and looking at her. I can't stand it. Really? If you think you're mad, you should have seen the look on those losers' faces when she told them. I'm seeing someone now and he means the world to me. Then shut the door in their faces. See, Tyler, you have nothing to worry about and why don't you ask her out? Like on an official date. It's time. I love that. I don't know about that, Tyler. Tyler, I'm not very good at expressing my feelings, really, because you've been showing feelings for the past few days. It's fine. I think you just expressed yourself just fine until now. Okay, how about we help you out? Yes, we can help you out with ideas for your perfect first date. I have a perfect idea. First, you hire an airplane to write doll face where you go on a date with me in the sky. Then take her to the park so she can see it. And when she sees it, I will have a flash mob come out and you will all do the thriller dance for her. <laughs> When you're done, I will call and distract her so you can rent a white horse and take her for a ride dressed like a prince. Then she will be yours. Everyone's like, um, are you serious? What do you mean? Of course I'm serious. It's romantic. We dream of that kind of stuff. Sam, I love you and all, but you're too extra sometimes. Tyler, just be yourself and ask her out on a date. She likes you for who you are. All that matters to her is being with you. He's like, okay, but don't forget to dress up like a prince. Make your fantasies come true so she will make you ass. <laughs> uh, well, let's see if he does it, guys. Can you come over? She's like, of course I can. Oh, girl, put that sheet back down. Is this a booty call? Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, can be if you wanted to. Just kidding. Please come over. I miss you. She's going to get up and do it. Well, we've only been back for four hours. So what? Can't a guy miss his girl? His girl? His girl? Okay, so now that we're back to reality, I wanted to give you your birthday presents. What's his birthday present? More presents you spoil me. Whoa, should I not be interested in you? <laughs> Ooh. Now we have matching Armani jackets. Okay, look how cute we look. Oh my god, I love this. Now check the pockets. <laughs> it goes to like, oh, we got a doll face. Will you give me the great honor to take you on our first official date, Tyler? That is so cute. Aww. Oh, Tyler. Yo, do we even have to do this whole, of course I will go on a date with you. Y'all already a boyfriend girlfriend practically at this point. There ain't need, need to go through all this stuff. What is this bitch made of? She can keep all the boys around to run her little finger. Eh. Why are you so crazy? Who is calling her? Hello? Hey, trash bag. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh. Okay, so he's trying to hit up Karen. I'm assuming to get her in on this plan, which if she does this, and you know she's going to, it's, uh, 
But on the bright side, the Miami trip ended up in a success. They're going on their first official date and everyone is happy right now. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you thought of the chapters in the comments below. Please go follow the amazing author Regina. Her Instagram is in my description box down below. And I hope to see you all in the next chapter. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye everyone. Bye.